Aww. It doesn't show you turning to stone. I'm finished. I'm pretty sure that uh, whatever point I start this video in, um, the viewers are going to have no idea what's going on. <laughs> yeah, it's just one of those games. You're probably not going to be able to learn just by watching it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you, I'm sure you could if you watched a whole game, but five minutes of a game, I don't think so. Hi, right, welcome to five minutes of every game. I'm Tom, and this is David, aka Cleveland Rock. That would be me. And we're playing Archon 2 Adept for Commodore 64. All right, Medusa, prepare to meet the light. I'm too ugly to die. <laughs> Did that hit you? I couldn't tell. <laughs> ah. No. Oh yeah, the thing about chimeras is they actually have three attacks and they cycle through them. This gives me an idea. Archon Fan Fiction by Peter Chimera. This game actually is the game that um, fascinated me with Chimera, so... <laughs> yeah, I wasn't liking my chances there. Well, uh, I think I'm gonna try something a little unconventional here. Ooh. Uh, do you know what a chimera is? I don't know. I always thought it was like a monkey rabbit or something <laughs> <laughs> it's a lion it has the head of a lion but it also has a head of a goat and its tail is a snake yeah, that's pretty crazy i'm not i wouldn't say this is a better game than archon by any means but it's a lot more sophisticated there are all kinds of cool tricks and stuff you can learn yeah i think i prefer the original archon yeah ah uh, darn there's still a lot of cool stuff in this mm-hmm <clears throat> So you mentioned that there was an Archon remake. Um, probably. I don't think oh. I've played it, but... I feel like this is one of those games that has been uh, remade on PC or something like that. Um, or it might just be wishful thinking. <laughs> <laughs> might be thinking of other games like Spy Hunter and whatnot. I wonder who owns the rights to this game. Would it be EA? John Freeman. <laughs> Gordon Freeman's brother. Whip all. He's a man who knows what needs to be done. Okay. Uh, let's let's get this party started. <laughs> oh my. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Those of you at home wondering why we're laughing evilly, uh, just take a look. We're totally <laughs> invisible. We have no idea where each other is <laughs> most of the time. Only time we can see each other is when we're attacking. And then you don't just damage them, you drain their health. So our health just keeps going back and forth. <laughs> Fights like this can take forever. So I'm not really sure what this guy is sort of represents. Like I'm, it's, he's a wraith, so obviously he's supposed to be like a ghostly figure. But to me, he kind of looks like some weird old uh, biblical dude, like like Solomon or something. <laughs> Aha! You thought I was in the corner. <laughs> Sounds like we're playing pong. I don't remember pong sounding like this. Oh, I mean the, the dinging noises. The little sound that tells us when our attacks are ready. Yeah. Man, we gotta play G.I. Joe at some point. Does does this sound remind you of G.I. Joe? Sort of. There's a similar thing where you it plays a ding sound when your attacks reload. No. So what do you think about that um, political thing going on? <laughs> yeah, I, I take a particular side on that issue. Man, you're so partisan. I, t I try to think of it as, um, correct. <laughs> I have the right stance on the issue. A recent poll uh, taken in Syria found that 100% uh, of Syrians are for Syria. Oh, I'm wow. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I'm gonna win this. <laughs> this is a really draining game when you play Wraith versus Wraith. <laughs> you have no energy after one of these battles. You're like, do I even really want to play this anymore? Like, you could be totally winning. You could be, like, one power point away from victory, and they have no units left. You're like, I don't really think I have it in me to capture that last point. 